Trying to imagine a phone without the RF front end is like thinking of a car without a transmission and wheels. You might have the best engine and the best audio system, but you're not going to get anywhere. The RF front end is the sophisticated circuitry in the mobile device that is responsible for converting information from the baseband to radio signals that can actually be transmitted or received over the air. Another way to think of the RF front end is to imagine that there's a basketball player in your phone that is responsible for receiving, say, 50 balls of 50 different sizes and has to shoot it in 50 different baskets in front of him and has to make it every single time. And that's what the RF front end does. Process the right data at the right time with the right information and send it out the right band at the right power levels. In a modern smartphone, there are multiple antennas for transmit and receive. It could be four or six or more, depending on the technology. For each antenna, there needs to be a path, whether for transmit or receive, that gets a signal from the antenna to the modem or from the modem, and we call these RF signal paths or RF chains. As more antennas are added to your device, you need more RF chains. Every RF chain needs a series of components that process the signal. So looking forward to 5G, which will probably bring more and more antennas on the device, it is important for RFFE to evolve. Qualcomm is unique in the industry in its ability to engineer the pieces needed to develop a phone all the way from the modem to the antenna. And that includes the transceiver and the RF front end. Better coverage, data speeds, voice quality, and battery life. These are just some of the ways your smartphone is impacted by the RF front end.